Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 27th going to the 3rd of October. Um, I'm going to jump straight into it and see what's going on for you. There was a lot of messages for the air signs that was coming through. Um, but it's pretty straightforward, pretty clear. Um, as we we're going into your messages, it's really all about your relationships and it makes a lot of sense now that we're going into Libra season. Um, here, Aquarius, what we're going to start to be seeing a lot of is uh, changes in terms of our business partnerships, in terms of our relationships with lovers, our relationships with family and friends, uh, and any other kind of partnerships we have with people like uh, work colleagues and stuff like that. There is going to be a lot of changes moving forward uh, within this. And uh, what you'll find, and it's very typical during a Mercury retrograde, which we'll be going into uh, around this time frame, is people from the past coming back. Now, for those of you who are interested, this could definitely be reconciliation. Um, but for the majority of you, this is really going to be about a release, you know, understanding where the other person is coming from, even if it's just a small little amount, uh, enough to move away from this, enough to forgive and move forward, enough to start your own new chapter. Um, but for others of you, this could definitely be the beginning of a new chapter for the both of you. Uh, old friends coming back round again, there is a, it's a big time forgiveness whether that's forgiveness and moving forward together or moving forward alone uh, ultimately this is a, a cleansing period for all the air signs which I actually really like now it may feel heavy um, that's always gonna happen when releasing uh, comes through but by the end of the release it's freedom right because you're releasing you're um, letting things go it's a less of a weight on you so by the end of the week there is a lot of great things that are coming up for the air signs um, another theme that was really coming up here was embracing solitude so some of you are really understanding that now's the best time just within this week maybe or within the next few weeks of your life uh, it's dependent on you here uh, Aquarius well, you're understanding, okay, maybe this is a really great time to reflect on my life so far and where I want it to go moving forward and kind of what I'm expecting from people around me. What am I expecting from friends and friendships? What am I expecting from lovers and relationships? What, what do I want to gain out of this? What do I want to give into this too? Because it's a reciprocation. Um, and from friends and family, you know, I, I think it applies in all parts of our relationships and um, spending this time by yourself is really going to help you build the right boundaries, uh, help you you also understand what you deserve so it does feel quite good taking some time out this week is important I must say um, but this is also great for self-love too which is nice all right I don't know why I'm doing this I'm just checking my pulse <laughs> I felt a pain here which I guess is linked to the throat chakra right so just be aware make sure you are speaking about certain things all right I think it's important especially around a mercury retrograde to make sure you feel heard but to also make sure that you're communicating correctly okay um, try your best to avoid serious conversations over text or email if you can have them in person it's really important okay right whilst we have this is a very good week for understanding your emotions and taking control of those too so i do think there's a lot of clarity coming in especially if there has been confusion by the end of the week there is a very big commitment coming in and for some of you this is going to be relationships as i said before if past people are coming back it's very likely some of you will be able to reconcile there is a releasing of emotions on both sides and so that we can go into a commitment by the end of the week but you will not expect this if that's the case um because it, it feels unexpected whatever this is by the end of the week but if is it if it is releasing if it is just understanding your emotions you might be surprised who you come across by the end of the week because it could be a new love interest just as you release someone new comes in or again it could be career um unfortunately i tried to get an answer to find a specifically what this could be but i think it was so general it is a general reading so it makes sense for a lot of you it's just represented by a very big commitment that feels amazing and incredible and you will be very happy by the end of the week okay um so yeah, let's go into your reading here, Aquarius, and see what's going on for you. Let's have a little look and see. Okay, for Aquarius, please, Spirit, what can you tell me for the week of the 27th, going to the 3rd of October? All right, here we go. I'm, we're being asked here very specifically to not worry about what we cannot control. Leave it to the face. When the TikTok card comes in, it really is about letting go. Um, not specifically of a person, 
although it could resonate with that again what we cannot control is other people but it's most specifically as you can see to do with time when is this going to happen is this ever going to happen how is it going to happen all these kinds of questions are things that we, we we will never know until it does happen right and by that time we won't need to ask the question so what's happening here is you're being told to let go of the need to understand a situation fully uh, using this week to prioritize again yourself is going to be really important because I do see answers coming in just not when you're expecting it not when you're wanting it not when you're demanding it spirit works in, in amazing ways <laughs> sometimes where when you least expect it it will come uh, um, and when you need it the most it will come so don't worry they're not going to leave you in the dark and you definitely will get this by a specific time frame but trying to rush this trying to force this to happen isn't going to work unfortunately so the face here says look after yourself within this week really prioritize yourself within this week here aquarius because you cannot do anything else apart from that you can worry you can stress you can question you can try to find a means to an end but it's not going to happen until the universe is ready for it okay so let uh, relaxing letting it go is really important and the face comes in and says some really incredible things will be happening for you reciprocation most importantly i love the stars in this card because it represents dreams goals beliefs coming in for you guys and uh, really good for community and relationships again so i, I like this you will fe feel happy about it but the first things first is we need to let go of the need to control okay and uh, uh, especially in terms of um situations that have been quite chaotic you might have been the glue to a certain situation here Aquarius again let it go this is a, a good time of where you need to understand you can't sacrifice yourself for everybody else all the time all right it's, it's a very noble thing to do Aquarius but the face here says that it's a really good time to look after yourself all right to prioritize yourself I love I always see this in this card because she's really caressing herself. She's really loving herself. You know, when you just hug yourself, she's really loving herself. So until we're in this position, um, until we're in this position, <laughs> let's just say um, this is what our priority is for the week. Okay. Because again, we can't control people. And it uh, makes sense with the whole theme we had in the beginning in your channeled messages here about relationships. Um, because... This is really about your relationship to yourself is just as important as your relationships with others. And in, in fact, it might be more important because we can't control our relationships with others. We can't control people, but we can control ourselves and how we respect ourselves. Okay. Anyways, let's see what's moving forward for you, Aquarius, for this week. Page of Pentacles, really good for career, by the way. Uh, this could be you going into new career. I do think there is going to be a very busy uh, time ahead for you. All right, in terms of your, um, I want to say finances, okay, there might be a lot of things happening in your finances, a lot of things to spend out around this week, uh, a lot of expenses, but also this could be a good things where things are coming in for you. Um, despite this, when the Seven of Wands comes in, it is a challenge, I will say that, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but this is going to teach you a lot and this card always represents success. It always represents the fact that you will uh, succeed despite the odds going against you. So if there is any challenge, Challenges. If there is any difficulty within this week, you will 100% overcome it. That is a fact. Uh, with the Page of Pentacles, this could be, again, career. This could be something new that you've just started out here. Remember, the challenges always come first. It becomes easier. Uh, the more that we do something, the more that we practice. All right. Um, so don't lose hope. And I don't think you will, Aquarius, because this is warrior energy in the Seven of Wands. So keep that warrior energy within you within this week. All right. Remember to tap into that part of yourself that is a warrior, the sacral chakra really important that's where the willpower comes from that's where the desire comes from and the solar plexus too that's where the willpower comes from uh motivation and stuff this is uh really important to focus on those energies here it's the gut it's the gut follow the gut instincts all right this is good for those of you who are starting new jobs by the way starting new projects definitely as well are coming in here but the great thing about this is you are walking the right path. Uh, when the page of pentacles comes in in particular, it's the only page that will actually reach the throne, right? All the other pages will never reach king queen position. The page of pentacles though, well, um, it's within the destiny of, of that card. So 
slow and steady wins the race, absolutely. Uh, this is a, a period of learning. This is a period of adapting. This is a period of new things rather than the end goal. So stop focusing on the end goal, focus on the now. Very important for you Aquarius with these cards. Well, look at that. What did I just say? <laughs> you are capable and you are. It's within your destiny to reach that king or queen position. And here we have the queen coming out saying that this is something that is going to work out in your favor. Every seed that you're planting around this time will lead you to that throne. So you guys, Aquarius, will start to see results. But again, by focusing on results, you're not going to get results. By focusing on the process to making and getting those results, that's when you get the results. Does that make any sense? Do I need to repeat myself? <laughs> Do I need to repeat myself? This is a total... Um, glow up should I say glow up um what's the word for it evolution you know it's kind of like a what's a good way of describing this um I don't know the word for it Aquarius but it's it's almost like you are maturing on, on so many different levels and the work that you're putting out into something is really going to lead you towards this so all the challenges that you're going through all the difficulty that seems to come up for you you know there might be more than one uh, is, you know, it's like, uh, what I'm seeing is like, it feels like chaos around me, you know, I can't, it's always something coming up, and then when you finish one thing, and you resolve the trauma, chaos, something else happens, you know, this is what's kind of coming through here, this is, a uh, your blueprint, is creating this person within you, which is, um, financially stable so this is going to be very good for you in terms of money and improving your money I'm seeing a lot of you I don't know if you're like doctors here Aquarius or anything like that I'm seeing that there is a, a lot of difficulty you might be starting off here on low pay and that could be difficult to deal with absolutely but it's I wouldn't say it's stable whatever it is that you're doing right now but it is leading towards stability it's not stable right now because you're kind of uh, how I'm getting it is, and it's a specific example, but um, please take it how it resonates. It's just showing me the fact that we're struggling first to then get to that comfortable place and in, in, in afterwards. <laughs> how does that make any sense to you? Okay, so we, we are leveling up. I love this, okay? We are leveling up, all right? So we like this, Aquarius. Let's see what else is happening for you. It will happen sooner than you think, but the only issue is, not issue, the only fact is that the pentacles journey is a lot slower than others. So don't compare yourself to anyone around this week. Don't compare yourself to how you used to grow and how quickly you used to do things either Aquarius because it's not about that right now because the journey that you're deciding to go on now is a lot more long-term and uh, has a lot more bigger result coming through. And the queen of pentacles is financially free. Uh, the queen of pentacles is very, very independent on herself. She's very, um, she knows that she can do anything that she wants to do and can do anything that she needs to do as well. Uh, in terms of projects, plans, hobbies, everything like that, she has the loyalty and commitment to be able to give in to it enough to get and bear good results afterwards, okay? And this is that warrior energy within you that I keep seeing here. Number 15 and 13 will be important for you. You're being told to focus here on the positives because it will grow, okay? Sometimes there might be some disappointment. Sometimes you might not be the best at something straight away. Or we might make mistakes. The Five of Cups comes in and says, do not worry about spilt milk. Do not worry about things that, again, are outside of our control. Instead, try to focus on the things that you do still have because it is going to lead you towards the Ten of Cups. Happiness, wish fulfillment. This is amazing, not just for you, but for everybody else around you as well. Don't worry about what has left you uh, in the dark because that person is their loss with the, the Five of Cups here you are still going to be successful again it's within your destiny here all right <laughs> i feel like very strongly um of course it's only natural uh to feel disappointed from time to time especially when there's a lot on your plate so feel free feel the emotions to heal the emotions but don't dwell on it for too long because the fact that the ten of cups comes afterwards says you may feel at a loss to begin with but you are going to be doubling up on whatever this emotional happiness is coming in for you emotional happiness setta what's going on <laughs> you're doubling you're doubling this amazing um opportunity clarify this ten of cups please spirit what can you tell me about the ten of cups Ooh, do you know what? I was looking at this. Oh my God, I just saw something really amazing. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Okay, look, I was looking at this and I was wondering, it looked a bit like a diamond and I was like, wow, this looks really nice. And it feels like this is what we're getting here. And uh, as I was clarifying, can you see the similarities? I'm almost seeing this as something that, um, it feels like this is 
just popped open and become the star it feels intense i love it i hope you guys can kind of see what i'm talking about here not only is this an amazing card of abundance and happiness and emotional it's just all around happiness a community and everything like that you know you guys the thing i love about you aquarius you are you are very um considerate of everyone else around you when you're happy everyone else is happy you change and light up a room and you guys are some of you in your destiny to be a star absolutely to leave a legacy absolutely here my ears ringing as i'm saying that but most importantly to achieve those goals of yours and i almost see that when we reach this level of happiness when we focus on the positives and what we can control all of a sudden yes there is celebration here and boom something comes to life here i want to kind of use a sound effect here of where something pops open and there is bliss all around the star card is great for community this is your card by the way aquarius so it's really about you stepping into your true alignment to yourself and it's benefiting everyone else around you and it is again completing those goals no matter how big they are, they aim, aim bigger is what I say because with the Queen of Pentacles, you are more than capable again to achieve it. Really great time for investments. But again, it's Mercury retrograde to so read over contracts, okay? And to persevere is your, uh, is your key theme here as well here, Aquarius, okay? Let's see anything else that they need to say for you. What is this? King of Cups, this could be some love coming in. Aquarius, some of you are going to be having people who are admiring you. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio around this time, okay? Um, allow this person to woo you. I think they are, um, either this is someone that you want or they want you. Regardless, this does look like a good combination. Just because I like this earthy and water vibes. Not to do with the signs, but to do with the elements that are coming into the play here. This is someone who will nurture you, who will love you the way that you need to be loved, okay? Um, and who's not afraid to just sweep you off your feet. All right, we like this with the Nine of Cups. So a lot of happiness by the end of the week. Aquarius, we like that, okay? It's just mainly about focusing on yourself, not allowing challenges to bring you down, focusing on what we need to focus on, which is not things that we cannot control. Take a break from that. You can worry about that later when it's resolved. <laughs> um, worry about the things that you can control. And that's about you persevering, you focusing on the positives because this dream of yours is going to come to life. All right? That's a promise. I love you guys. I wish you all the best. And I will see you guys next time.